Hey everyone, Houston Math Prep here. We are hoping to make your adding and subtracting square roots as easy as adding cats, just like you see here. So square roots with the same expression inside of the root, the number inside, can be combined as like terms. Just like here, we have like terms. Uh, the type of term that I'm adding is cats. So the type of term does not change. When I am adding cats together, I need to end up with cats, right? And so I just say two cats plus three cats is five cats. And it's the same with roots as long as the number underneath the root is the same. So here if I'm simplifying five root threes plus nine root threes, think of the root three like the cat. Five cats plus nine cats would be 14 cats. So five root threes plus nine root threes is going to be 14 root threes. And yes, it's just that easy. 11 root 2s minus 7 root 2s. If you're counting root 2s as an object, doing the subtract 11 of something minus 7 of something is going to give us 4 of that same something. So 11 root 2s minus 7 root 2s will give us 4 times root 2. Here, like terms have the same number under the root. So if you'll notice, I have right here a root 5 term and it is a like term with this 8 root 5 term over here. So what I have from those terms together, 2 root 5s plus 8 root 5s will give me 10 root 5s, just like 2 cats plus 8 cats would give me 10 cats. Similarly now the root 3 terms are like terms. I have 3 root 3s minus root 3. So if I had 3 cats minus a cat, then three cats minus a cat would give me two cats. So three root three minus root three is two root threes. We have to leave those terms separate. That's as simplified as it can be because the first term is a root five term, the second term is a root three term, not like terms. So that is as simplified as we can go for that one. Looking at this next one, root 6 plus root 24, it looks like there's no way we can put these together because they're not like terms, and in their current format they definitely are not like terms. Uh, but what you'll probably be asked to do is you'll probably be asked to reduce anything first in order to see if it's a like term, in much the same way we reduce fractions to see if your answer is the same as mine. Uh, root 6 cannot be reduced, but root 24 can be reduced. So there are a couple of ways that you can do this. You can either say that root 4 is, if you use the perfect square method, you could say uh, that the perfect square 4 goes into 24. And then you could say that is root 4 times root 6. And then we know the square root of 4, which is 2. So that's 2 root 6. If you use the factor tree method, then you can start with anything you want. Let's say you start with 3 and 8. Totally fine. So 3 can't be factored anymore, but 8 can. We would say 4 and 2, or 2 and 4. And then my 4 is going to give me another pair of 2s. So 24 is going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. I can pull out a pair of 2s as a single 2 on the outside. The 2 times 3 stays on the inside. So again, 2 root 6. So either way you do it, root 6 plus, in the simplified form, this root 24 becomes a 2 root 6. Now you can see that they are like terms, so we do want to reduce roots when we can in order to see that. Simplifying a cat plus two more cats is going to give us three cats, right? So this root six plus two root six gives us three root sixes. Okay, moving on to the next one. Root 20 plus five root two plus root five. So it'll be up to you to kind of look at these and decide which can be reduced. Root two is good, can't be reduced. Root 5 is also simplified all the way. Root 20 though, if I go the tree method, 20 you could say 2 times 10. 10 is 2 times 5. So I know that 20 is going to be 2 times 2 times 5. And remember from our other video about reducing roots with the factor tree, you can pull out anything that's a pair. So we get a 2 outside. 5 stays inside, so we have 2 root 5 from this root 20. All of these we kept the same because we couldn't simplify those. And now maybe you'll see 
simply that I have a two root five and I have another root five term. Those are like terms. Two root fives plus another root five would give me three root fives. The five root two must stay by itself and cannot combine with the three root five because these terms do not have the same number under the root, right? Same expression under the root. Okay, and then let's look at this one. Uh, this one a bit more complicated. It turns out all of these, none of them look like they're like terms, but all of these can be reduced. So I'm gonna write these down. Um, you can work out the factor tree on your own, but I'm gonna abbreviate a little bit of this. So 12, if you figure out its factor tree, you're going to get two times two times three. And if you're not sure how to do this factor tree to reduce the roots, then I would say check out our factor tree reducing roots video. So that's two root three. Root 32, so 32 is actually two times two times two times two, believe it or not, times another two. So you get two pairs of twos. So you can pull out a two and another two on the outside. So two times two on the outside is gonna give us four on the outside. This two is a single, so it stays inside. So four root two there. Root 75 is the next one. 75, if you do the prime factors for that, you're going to get three times five times five. And once you do this, then you'll see you have a pair of fives. So that means the five can come out and the three stays inside. Doing 50 as the last one, so the square root of 50. Square root 50 is going to reduce to two times five times five. Again here, a five can come out, but a different number left inside. Five comes outside, two stays inside. So let's change all of these to their simplified version and then we'll get a better idea of what we can do. So root 12 became two times square root three. Square root 32 became four times square root two. Our root 75 became five times square root three. This is a minus here, make sure we get that copied correctly. And then root 50 becomes five square root two. And if I look at what we've got that are like terms, I have a two root three and a five root three. So combining those terms together, two plus five would give me seven root threes. And then if I go look at the other terms, it happens that these are also like terms. They're both root two terms. So if I have four root two minus five root two, four minus five would be negative one, or in other words, just minus root two keeping those separate because root three and root two are not like terms, so we cannot combine these any further. Okay, hopefully this helps you out on adding and subtracting square roots. Don't forget to simplify first.